a joint operation between Vic PD's strike force and the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit of BC has resulted in a $30 million seizure of drugs, including high concentration fentanyl, weapons, and cash in Victoria and on the Lower Mainland. Three men have been arrested. In early June, Vic PD's strike force team identified an organized crime group trafficking fentanyl in Victoria. Over the course of the months-long investigation, strike force officers determined that the group was also trafficking fentanyl on the Lower Mainland. In addition, strike force discovered that the fentanyl supply chain for this trafficking group was based in the Lower Mainland. In August, strike force investigators approached CFSEU's Anti-Trafficking Task Force with this information, and the two agencies initiated a Joint Forces Operation Agreement. A coordinated joint investigation dubbed Project Juliet was launched. Strike Force officers fo focused on the group trafficking fentanyl in Victoria, and CFSEU targeted the individuals associated to the Lower Mainland fentanyl trafficking operation and supply chain. On November 17th, Strike Force and CFSEU officers conducted coordinated enforcement actions in Victoria and on the Lower Mainland, targeting the suspects in this investigation. In Victoria, Vic PD Strike Force working with Vic PD's Community Services Division, CFSCU's Island Team, and the Greater Victoria Emergency Response Team executed four search warrants on three separate residential locations and one vehicle. Two individuals were arrested. These locations included a suite in a multi-unit residential building in the 500 block of Fisgard Avenue, a suite in a multi-unit residential building in the 700 block of Fairfield Road, and a suite in a multi-unit residential building in the 1000 block of U Street. On the Lower Mainland, CFSEU, working with the Uniform Gang Enforcement Team, Surrey RCMP, and the Vancouver Police Department's Emergency Response Team and Forensic Identification Unit executed five search warrants on three separate residential locations and two vehicles. One man was arrested. These locations included a suite in a multi-unit residential building in the 1100 block of Seymour Street in Vancouver, a suite in a multi-unit residential building in the 4500 block of Halifax Way in Burnaby, and a single family residence in the 1500 block of 80th Avenue in Surrey. The Uniform Gang Enforcement Team arrested a suspect in the 4500 block of Halifax Street in Burnaby. There were no injuries in the arrest. The search of these locations in Victoria yielded over one kilogram of cocaine, over two kilograms of fentanyl, two and a half kilograms of methamphetamine, and evidence of a drug repurposing and packaging for a trafficking operation, including over six kilograms of cutting agents. Strike Force officers also seized a replica assault rifle and $50,000 in cash. The search of the locations on the Lower Mainland yielded a kilogram of MDMA, which is commonly referred to as ecstasy, two kilograms of methamphetamine, over 10 kilograms of high concentration fentanyl, and evidence of drug repurposing and packaging for a trafficking operation, including over 100 kilograms of cutting agents. Officers also seized a kilogram of sildenafil, which is commonly known as Viagra. A substantial amount of bulk currency was seized from the Lower Mainland locations, currently totaling $335,390, along with three luxury vehicles. In addition, CFSU officers seized two sets of body armor, two carbine-style assault rifles, three shotguns, and seven pistols accompanied by a pistol suppressor or silencer, along with approximately 1,000 rounds of various calibers of ammunition. They also seized a variety of false identification documents. On Friday, December 11th, CFSCU executed an additional search warrant at a storage unit in the 1600 block of Low Heat Highway in Coquitlam. There, investigators seized two additional sets of body armor, as well as eight firearms accompanied by three suppressors and multiple magazines and various types of ammunition. In total, the estimated street value of the seized cocaine, MDMA, methamphetamine, and high concentration fentanyl in this joint operation is approximately $30 million. Officers seized fentanyl in bulk and street level quantities. Initial analysis by Health Canada of the bulk quantities of fentanyl seized in this investigation has verified that the concentration ranges between 88% and 90% fentanyl. The quantities of fentanyl that were prepared for street level distribution 
which contained cutting agents, were still found to be 13% concentration, which is extremely high and would likely contribute to an increase in overdoses. Typically, street level concentrations of fentanyl range from 3 to 5%. The high concentration of bulk fentanyl enables massive profit margins when cutting the product down to millions of street level doses. The more than 12 kilograms of high concentration fentanyl seized in this investigation is enough to supply an estimated 3,965,000 lethal doses. In total, officers seized 20 firearms in this investigation, ranging from pistols and shotguns to assault-style rifles. Several of these rifles were modified to be fully automatic, and many of the firearms had the serial numbers removed. The investigation remains ongoing. Strike Force and CFSEU will be recommending drug trafficking and firearms related charges against one man from Calgary, one man from Surrey, and one man from Vancouver. This joint operation between the Victoria Police Department and the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit is a prime example of what can be achieved when police agencies work together. The success of this operation is largely due to the effectiveness of agencies working together in a united front to prevent deadly and poisonous drugs like fentanyl from hitting our streets. This file started as a Victoria Police Department investigation with Strike Force identifying and targeting a criminal enterprise indiscriminately trafficking drugs for profit in our community. Strike Force and CFSEU then worked together for months, conducting a complex, high level investigation in an incredibly coordinated manner across various jurisdictions, and the results speak for themselves. When we talk about the scope of this project, this operation successfully targeted the top of the fentanyl trafficking pyramid in British Columbia. This sends a strong message that police agencies are united across this province. We have a shared vision, and every day we'll continue to do important work in making an impact against those targeting the most vulnerable people in our communities. What is clear to us is that our work in this area is not done. The provincial opioid crisis continues to affect people from all walks of life across all socioeconomic groups. It reaches into our high schools and into our homes. The tremendous outcome of this joint project is just one step in the targeted enforcement of drug traffickers harming our communities. We will continue to combat the unsafe supply of these toxic drugs, working to end the public health emergency and to save lives. Good morning. I want to begin by thanking Chief Manick and everyone with the Victoria Police Department for their significant contributions on this complex multi-jurisdictional investigation. Their efforts have undoubtedly saved lives in Victoria, the capital region, Vancouver Island, and across the province by advancing this investigation to a point where we were able to seize large amounts of dangerous drugs and illegal firearms. I would also like to thank the province of British Columbia for their funding and support of the Provincial Tactical Enforcement Priority Initiative that helped fund this complex project. By providing dedicated funding and encouraging the continual sharing of information, the provincial supported PTEP model integrates municipal, provincial, and federal intelligence to support a targeted prioritization framework aimed at suppressing gang activity across, regardless of the jurisdiction. While we can only speak to and disclose the preliminary results of this particular investigation, I am able to share that there have been dozens more investigations like this one by CFSUBC and our partners across the province that have resulted in seizures of guns and deadly chemical concoctions fortified with fentanyl. This investigation and others highlight the undeniable links between drugs, gangs, and violence, all of which threaten the, the public safety of British Columbians. This coordinated work between police agencies in British Columbia has been ongoing despite the pandemic due to the dedication and ingenuity of our teams who have found safe and effective means to continually gather ev gather in evidence. The seizures made in this investigation, both by CFSUBC and Victoria Police, have taken millions of potentially deadly doses of drugs off our streets and dozens of firearms. But our work is not done. CFSUBC is committed to our relentless pursuit of these people and the groups that they may be acting on behalf of. 
We will work tirelessly to hold the people targeted in this investigation accountable, but we also continue our efforts against others. My message to those who are involved in this deadly trade, we will do everything we can to catch you, see you prosecuted to the fullest extent before you kill more people and cause more misery in our communities.